And I found this file cabinet. First thing I did is I washed it all down. I pulled these drawers out and then you see the slides that they run on. Got rid of the other pieces that were in there. So they do still slide out, but as you can see it tips. When you drill your holes, um, what you're gonna do is make sure you're drilling from the inside of the box out, because what's gonna happen is as you push that drill through, it's gonna make little tabs that kinda poke out and you don't want those little metal pieces. So if you drill from the bottom up, inside where you're gonna have your food, you're gonna have these little metal spikes, which... Um, I made a different number of holes in each of the boxes. I have in here eight holes, 10 holes, and this one. I think I put 20 of them in there. And what the eight holes is gonna go with one up from the bottom. And what this is gonna do is trap some of the heat on that bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna put this thermometer in here. And this is the first one, I'm just gonna put it in the top. I don't have a bit to screw this in. So what I'm gonna try to do is just use a screwdriver so I want to make sure I'm getting above this piece right here. I made these racks. I found some stoves that were being thrown away and I took the oven racks off. And I just propped this one side up how far it needed to be to get here and then I sawed off the two main ones and then I just came through with a wire cutter and then what I did is I took this pliers and I came in here and pulled it back so I have a couple of these that are a little longer so that I can pull them in and out and then the other ones just fit and then that way I can remove this rack and then push it back into place. So I think for the second rack, I was gonna leave them a little bit longer. I didn't wanna have any issues. So I've curved these ones back. So this one has got longer pieces here. I don't know if that'll work out nicer. And then I also angled a couple of these so that they would go down and actually fit right in there. And I drilled three holes next to each other and then I just twisted it through and broke it and I used and so then what I did next is I used a screwdriver and I actually just pounded that down with the hammer until I got through and I made one hole there and one in the other corner. There's already a hole in the front and it's going to be coming through the sides as well and where the lock mechanism is there is a huge hole that was lined in plastic so I pounded that out. I had put a magnet over the top of that so it's not just pouring out of that one spot. So okay so I'm going to do the first burn. Okay, so what I've done, just so I can get this paint off, I've actually loaded all the drawers. See if I can get this heated up and get that paint bu bubbled off. So you can see it getting hot here. The second drawer is on fire now. So the top drawer wasn't burning and then I pulled it out just boom instantly because it was all dried out. So the fire's starting to die down in there. My thermometer is over 600 degrees, so it got it was super hot. And then here's one of the things you can see is the difference between the drawers. So after I've heated this up, if I just wet this down, just rubbing off. So I've been... So you can see the difference there. So I'm washing this, but I don't want that in in the food when I smoke it. So I'm gonna clean these all up. And when they're done, it should look like that one right there. So I filled this with willows. I'm gonna do one final burn and I'm gonna season it and it should be good. Okay, so I'm seasoning that smoker right now. So I got it all done now, it took me forever so I didn't want all that cooked in the food so I really cleaned it so I just smoked another batch here and it turned out really good the pieces are nice and dry on the outside so I can stack them next to each other they're moist on the middle um, so what I did is because there's a lot of depth and I was kind of running out of space I decided I'd 
uh, cut my fillets in half and then I ran a little line through them so I could fold them down and as you can see they're draped down and they're hanging in so you make sure you spray the grates with oil and then we're just gonna pull those off and so you're gonna slide you want to make sure it slides first before you try to pull and then we'll wiggle that up and then we'll just go through and those are really nice pieces they're dry on the on the outside these are perfect